Bioorganic weapons are a global threat. Start working with the rest of the world. Iraq and Syria. Iraq and Syria. We have Syria. to come to clean. My desire to reveal the truth. Sure to tell them everything. It might create more problems than it's time we take responsibility. We want to have any chance. I've always valued your friendship, Leon. Stare at where you are. Mr. President! talking about Tolok's Cathedral I'll explain everything there Agent Kennedy how do you know my name yes Hunnigan thank God you're both all right how do you two know each other that's Helena Harper. She's been with the Secret Service since last year. I can't tell you how good it is to hear you two are all right. Look, I hate to rush introductions, but I need a report on your situation. I... I just shot the president. What are you... He had already been infected by the time we found him. Leon... Leon did what he had to. He saved my life. God help us. All right, I'll submit the report. You two just focus on getting the hell out of there. The virus has already spread three miles past the campus perimeter and it's not slowing down. You need to hurry. Not before we check out Talok's Cathedral. Agent Kennedy's got a lead that might tell us who's responsible for this. Leon, is that true? Yeah, I think I might have something. Roger that. I'll map out the safest access route. Keep your radio on. I got a lead? You will if you come with me. Adam, I'm sorry. So what's so special about this church? You have some sins to confess? It's hard to explain. If I don't tell you at the cathedral, you may not believe me. All right. So, uh... It is October. It is spooky season. Um, and I just realized today that I never did a full playthrough of this entire game on YouTube. Um, plus, I've seen way too many people. You're gonna tell me everything once we get to the cathedral. Deal? Today, on social media, acting like this game was good, so... I will not allow it. Not in my... part of the universe. Here, too. Uh, so this, this is, is chapter, out of chapter one, the very beginning of the Leon campaign. Truth be told, I'm not sure if you can start the game on any other story except for Leon's. I don't think I've ever tried. Because I, I believe you have to play through Leon first before you get to play anything else, but I could be wrong. Testing it would require deleting all my save files, and I'm not really interested in that, even though I hate this game and don't really have any intention of ever playing it again. Uh, also, apologies if the sound in the video is screwed up, because I am... Still having issues with my um, headset cord, and I will be forever until I replace it. Like, it's, it's bad now. I'm surprised I even got it to work this well. 
I'm literally holding the cord right now to get it to work. Uh, so here's number two. I'll start with number two of why this game is terrible. Uh, this section right here where it's forcing you to walk around, like hunched over, and the, the camera is looking up at you at a weird angle like this. Okay. It's terrible. This is all there is to I'm say about it. It's head. terrible. It's your best bet. Got it. But it gets worse. It gets so much worse. This is where the reception was going to be. It's a big ass reception. I'll I'll be even here for a coach. Right now if... You think anyone survived? Okay, so back to. Uh, I hope so. Being forced to run or walk. I mean, not sure how you would confuse those words, run and walk. I can't believe this is happening again. It's, it's just, just like, like raccoon. raccoon. The, the city incident. You were one of the survivors. The yeah. reasons this game are I'll terrible are it. all overlapping. We're going to this cathedral of yours. But if you really did have a hand in this, you can kiss your freedom goodbye. I know. It's it's nothing like Raccoon, and there's no reason for them to even say that, because Leon has no idea what Raccoon City was like. He wasn't there. What was that? He didn't get there until after the outbreak had already out. killed him. Let's go. Now you can run. And it's like uncontrollable. <laughs> I actually think there's a name for this now. I think it's Traversal Stutter. But it, it's not like a technical... It's, it's not a bug with the game like it is in some games like Dead Space Remake. Like it's literally supposed to work this way. You're, you're supposed to have this lurching movement. Fog. It came out of nowhere. Liz! Wait, let me go! It's too dangerous. My daughter, she's all alone. If we don't do something... All right, I get it. But if you don't keep it down, you won't live to save her. You understand? Liz. Is that your daughter? All right, let's find her. Leon, we don't have time We're to- We're making the time. I could change headsets, but I'm too lazy Where to do you? that. Oh, no, okay, so you're back to walking for one second. Now you can run again. What was that sound? Scared. Who turned the lights off? Stay sharp. I mean, being able to see would help. Now you can't run. That's not the right way. Now you can oh. run again. Oh no, lightning! Did I? Oh, you have to go this way. Now you're stuck following this NPC that can't pick a speed like in mini games. Being forced to look at crap all the time as it falls oh. down. Oh. That's quite a draft. Being forced to push doors open, even though later you can actually kick them, like... We will. Just stay close. Game. Like Liz. Liz. Please. 
Please answer. It's your daddy, Liz. He had the key the whole time and he just stands there. That's clown. Um, I'm ignoring, like, I'm sure there, there's at least one. Uh, you alright? Symbol from the family or whatever I will be in this level, but I'm daughter. ignoring it. <laughs> I called her to help, but we got cut off. I know she's here somewhere. Oh, you gotta wait for him again. No, back to walking. Um, back to the previous point. He has no idea what Raccoon City is like during the outbreak because he wasn't there. I already said that, but that would—that isn't the only time. It happens over we and over working again. and over again in it's the first not, two chapters. But I work here. I've got the keys. Once we're in, we can take my car. Thanks. Now let's find Liz and get the hell out of here. I will certainly do that once you let Liz? me play. Liz, is that you? Is that clear to loon? I can't. I only heard like two notes. It, it probably is, but like I said, my headset is totally jacked up, so I honestly can't hear, like... Yeah, it is. Careful. Okay. Elena. Okay. Over here. This chapter wouldn't last even half as long if, if it didn't force you to walk all the time. I'm stuck. Liz! Dad, where are Mom and Liam? They, they already got out. They're, they're waiting for us at home. It's a big ass floor globe. Alright. How do we get out of this place? I mean this game did some cool things lot. like like dual pistols and, the and stuff. The elevator is but... up ahead. Hopefully it still works. That's one of the most annoying things is the default reticle is like aimed downwards at the center. Let's get this out of our way. Okay. Why does it take two of you to move that when it only took that one dude? I'm glad you guys were here. Notice how they didn't do anything to get the elevator working? It's going to be okay, Lizzie. You're going to be okay. Dad. We're almost there. Liz?
it's pretty quick. I mean, she had, I'm sure she was infected for quite a while. Oh, that's so my next Shoot favorite her. thing is these god awful QTEs. I can't believe this. Well, get used to it. It's either them or us, and they don't hesitate. Why did this have to happen? I don't think we're alone in here. Lena, grab your gun. <laughs> Shit! Don't let him in! <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you can just kung fu everyone. That's our cue to get the hell out of here. I couldn't agree more. Let's go. Leon, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. You're right. Let's get the hell out of here. I was gonna say, isn't there more, like, campus stuff? So, at least now you can actually, like, kind of play the game as intended. Uh, there's no more... He said it was some sort of... BS fun. going on with the... If this being forced to walk. Anyone who breathed it in got infected. That would mean everyone on campus. Yeah. But then why is it so quiet? I've got a bad feeling about this. Some, some zombies in here somewhere. Oh, right. Didn't mean to interrupt. I don't know if, if it's... I mean, it... Huh. 
if you haven't played this game, it's that's the only way I can describe it is lurching. Uh, the movement is just very lurching. Like you're bent over the whole time, the whole game, and all four campaigns just lurching around like this. Yeah, so, again, nothing like Raccoon City whatsoever. You couldn't stomp on people in, Racking, in Resident Evil 2. I feel like when they put that dialogue in, they were unintentionally being... Uh, they were, like, unironically being serious. They meant, like... Just like Raccoon City, the shitty game. Which is way more accurate. Because, I mean, even thematically, it's, it's almost nothing like the game. Like Resident Evil 2. Uh, other than that, they sure it that you start out in a city that's infected. <clears throat> like you don't even have an inventory in this game that you can control, so it's just absolutely nothing like the traditional games. I wonder if there are any survivors. I'm not sure why all the pickups are on, on X instead of uh, A. You just melee instead. What the fuck? Where's my partner? She's just like not helping at all. Come on, Helena, Helena, Helena. Take that paper. Now I'm not going to be able to figure out how to uh, to make pills out of the herbs and put them in my my, my pill case. Oh, I didn't even see that. Legitimately. Why do you keep giving me ammo for a gun I'm not using? You got it. You got it. Get to the security gate. It'll lead you off the campus.
Hunnigan, the gate's locked. Anything you can do? Sorry, not from here. Try the staff building behind the bleachers. I'm guessing you'll find keys for the gate there. First chapter isn't really Keep that me, other than like the really bad mechanics. There's not a corner. lot to talk about until you actually get into the city. Roger. And again, the door's locked. There's no way out. I'm on it. Just give me a minute. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't force me to go all the way down the hallway. There's so many. You can't take them all. Now we know where all the infected were hiding out. No, we can't. The door is probably open, but any day now, Hunnigan. We gotta get out of here. I've almost got it. Hang on. It's open. Get out of there now. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stop the reload for one surprise after another. Okay. Uh, I wasted all my rifle ammo. drawers or something has a one of the collectibles Entire time. <laughs> Last time I played this, I legitimately spent like God knows how long trying to figure out how to I didn't want to do that. <laughs> how to how to use oh. herbs, basically.
like this isn't the worst game ever made, but it is definitely the worst Resident Evil game. It's just it's pure action nonsense, and that would be fine if the game itself was any good, but it isn't. Roger. Hurry, get over here. Did you just throw a fire axe at me? Oh no, the metal detector. Just found a ride out of here. Okay, so now the next terrible Resident Evil 6 game mechanic. Damn it, no keys. Are you sure? I'm looking. What about the glove compartment? No, nothing. Checking the car isn't as easy as it looks in the movies. At least the wipers work. Should we hotwire it? Hold on. Found the keys. You buckled in? Yeah. Then hold on. Right, so this is another RE or uh, Leon trope where he can't drive with the crap. Resident Evil 2 wasn't his fault though. I mean, there was a zombie in the car. Made but this up, one, yeah. he just. Now we just gotta get through town. <laughs> and here, was, here comes a red. <laughs> I thought they're just like ejected from the car or something and it pulls up and shit. Like, I mean, I'm sure he was only going 20 miles an hour or so. Leon, Helena, are you two all right? Well, they wouldn't have done a lot of damage. In there, but we need another way to the cathedral. Well, I found an underground route that may be safer. The sewers, huh? Great. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. We should hurry. What's the matter? Not a fan of sewers? Come on, let's just get to the cathedral, and then I'll tell you everything. Bioorganic weapons represent threat. I'm going to tell them. Everything we know about the Raccoon City incident. But, sir... A lot of people are questioning my desire to reveal the truth. I know where they're coming from. And might create more problems than it solves. A lesson I learned well in the military. Bioorganic weapons are a global threat. And we are partly to blame. We have to come clean and start working with the rest of the world if we want to have any chance of fighting this. Whatever you decide, sir. Isn't I'm that ready. what the BSAA was for, though? And I've always valued your friendship. The whatever. The it's FBC. time we take responsibility and end this mess. It's going to be a tough road. Let's get moving. We don't have much time. Well, so we're still in chapter Certainly one. Certainly got our work cut out for us. Believe me, I know. I was kind of hoping this was over. Leon, 
Leon, Helena. We'll be out of contact when you're in there. I'll still be tracking your movements, but be careful. Part of my aim, I, I haven't played this game in forever. I'm, I'm not used to the laser sight because, you know, since they, they started doing all the remakes, they got rid of it, except as an attachment. That's how you get the knife. Look at that axe. <laughs> I want the axe. No. Damn it. Train's coming. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, was, I didn't realize the train came in that section. I don't, I don't think I've ever stayed there that long. That's my bad. So, how are the trains still running? There was no one at the controls. Zombie Express. I have commentary on that in, in a moment. Not this part, but uh, the next section. Shouldn't there be another dog here? I could actually hear it'll be probably a little bit easier to anticipate the train the subway. How's that for timing? Lines up too. <laughs> I don't know how I just got to the menu, but that answers my earlier question.
<laughs> oh, they are coming from. Okay. The stomp system is so weird because, like, they can't actually get up in time. Even though it doesn't make any sense because you're still stomping their head. It just. Like, not that one. That one was fine. Day. Look out. Train. Okay. Okay. I was going to say. I was going to say, when the game came out, there used to be a glitch where, um, e like, literally, even if you were standing back here, you would get killed by the train QTE, which is obviously impossible, right? There's no fucking way a train is coming down this track when there's a stop train on it. Um, and then there was another glitch where, if even if you press the QTE... It wouldn't work. And then you would die anyway. But it's not a glitch. It's it's apparently just supposed to happen. Not my lucky day. Look out! Train! This see, there's not even a QTE. This is such unapologetically dog shit game design. It's just ridiculous. Not my lucky day. See, I was literally, I was literally on the other track, and it killed me. You have no many, you have no idea how many times this has happened to me. Look out, train! What? So there, there's supposed to be a button prompt to dodge the train. There just isn't. It's a problem. Like, it only shows up if you're in a specific point on the map. 
Even if you're literally up on the ledge where you first come from, uh, it's still impossible to dodge the train. Like, it will kill you. We're not getting that open. I want to have a look around in there. Boost me up on top. <laughs> Just don't leave me behind. Roger. <laughs> You got your subway here. You got it. Uh, trying to bring back those Resident Evil 3 memories. No, I didn't press that at all. Literally didn't press that button. I was pressing stick. Oh, didn't press the right button. Those. That's not the right button. Speaking of right buttons. <laughs> gotcha. uh, let me try that again. Where did you come from? Good, you made it. You can reach the street level from there. What are conditions like up there? 
looking pretty bad. Hell on Earth isn't much of a stretch. All right, I decided I'm just going to finish this. part of town to get to the cathedral. Keep your lines open in case you run into trouble. <sighs> <laughs> what? She got one shot off that happened to, to hit its uh, oxygen tank. Why do I feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg? Hold on, I'll get you out. So this is where it gets absolutely stupid. Um, they're gonna run around and, and Helen is gonna just shout. It's just like back in city. That's explosion number two, by the way. Right. Everything's gone to hell. GDT? Not really. That was a. If there is a name for that in uh, fake wrestling, I don't know what it is. Roger. You got your RE4 barrels down there. Car way. crash number five. <laughs> I wish I didn't get run over. Roger. I gotta waste more healing items. Hey, it's a bar. You Good remember idea. there was a bar in Resident Evil 2, right? As much as possible. Actually, it was Resident Evil 3. Maybe we can even catch our breath. Didn't you hear me say we have to hurry? It's just like Raccoon City. Ah, oh, they haven't said it yet. Ooh, I guess I should heal. Stop my shotgun. your tie-in with the Ada campaign there. Damn it, it's locked. Jump scares. It just like teleported into his hand. He didn't even How does neither one of them notice that? That's so ridiculous. So, how do you get to that menu? gotta be a way. I don't, I have no idea what I pressed. I don't look at that. Well, actually, I guess I can't. Settings? No. 
Level 3 maybe? Or why? Oh, yeah, I think it was. I guess I don't have any herbs. Got your introduction to these annoying screamers. Or shriekers, I think. Clobbing the fence, you damn hooligans. I don't know why he's going up the stairs like that. Just go, dude. Quit being stupid. Up and over. Just casually throw her 17 feet. To another bar. Roger. Time for explosions, number six and seven. No! I don't want to die! Survivors, come on. We have to help them. Uh oh. His first day as a cop and he's already in a zombie outbreak. Don't leave me. Remember that, guys? Are you kidding me? I don't need you slowing me down. Get calm, people. Choose a target before shooting. Who made you the leader? Did you stop that? These scripted events in this game are so incredibly stupid, especially in Leon's first chapter. Like, they're not as bad later Survivors, in the game. Come on, we have to help. Die, you cannibal freaks! Where the hell is it coming from? First day at the top, and already I'm in a shootout. Shoot. 
Forget it. He'll just get you killed. Shooting the gas, why is it not working? Someone shoot the gas! We can blow these things to kingdom come! I wanna what is your problem, dude? <laughs> Explosion number six hey, through on. ten. It's safer here! There's a gun shop up ahead. We can rearm there. We'll probably find more people there, too. What do you think? I don't see any other options. Roger. No, it's the alarm. Hey, hey! Is anyone here? I wish I wasn't taking forever to do this chapter, honestly. Those things are crawling all over my shop. Unless you want to get rid of them, this door stays closed. Who does he think we are? Exterminators? Guns. Hey, remember Resident Evil 2 and 3? They also had a gunshot. Totally just like Raccoon City. Big ass box of bullets. I want to know where all these these dudes in this small college town got automatic rifles. Isn't Peter the same dude that lady in the subway was trying to rescue? Is it the same Peter or...? If it is, this dude has way too many people to care about him. Jammed. Let me just throw it on the ground. Give me your gun. <laughs> and then <st> take one <laughs> from someone else. You idiots can fight it out if you want. I'm getting the hell out of here. Does he become the bloodshot? Or that zombie does? Ah, uh, Peter sucks, who cares? Oh, 
Oh, I forgot they're kind of like blinkers in Resident Evil 5. Like, you're supposed to stab their heart or something. Or shoot their heart. I think uh, one of the most remarkable achievements of this game, especially the Odds campaign, is they somehow managed to make the one thing that this game is good at still be boring. At least in, in the first chapter. Hey! Pretty quiet down there! You guys still breathing? For the time being, store's clear! Wanna let us in now? Come on! Y'all ain't bad with the Nice work down there. Good news is, I got some folks coming for me in a bus. Any minute now. If we can make it on board, it's a straight shot to Tall Oaks Cathedral. People are evacuating there. Heard it on the radio, but that's a big if. It's a shitstorm out there. We ain't waiting for any stragglers. Yo, Japanese dude, get the shutters! Fuck, it's okay! Into the next room. Come on, people. Collapse. 
have an extra large now. He's gonna bring this whole place down on us! Cover you. Hold on! I'm gonna pull you up! Forget about me! Just look after yourself! No! We're all gonna make it Get us out of here! That's some walks in our way! Okay, I should have done a lot better, and I could have done a lot better, but whatever. Uh, but you can see how much I give a shit about this game. That's how much I played it. I don't care anymore.
All right. Time for more explosions and just utter stupidity. 90% of the population in Tall Oaks has been infected with the virus. That rounds out to about 70,000 hostiles. We also received word that an organization named Neo Umbrella just claimed responsibility for the attack. Neo Umbrella. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. This is Raccoon City all over again. No, no, it's not. Now it's your turn to help me. I need to know what's in that cathedral. I've got suits breathing down my neck for info. Suits? Specifically? Derek C. Simmons, National Security Advisor. I don't know why everything just took a shit all of a sudden, but here it comes. Crash into one zombie and then end up running off the road. But wait, there's more. What's this? A semi truck, just like Resident Evil 2. Straight off the cliff. <laughs> it would be so dead. Like, oh, and of course the bus exploded. It's okay, Leon's chest hurts just a little bit, so he's mortal. still alive we're cutting through the cemetery to reach the cathedral all right so that's chapter one that's the only part i was going to record for leon anyway terrible game uh, the only thing it's good at is action and a lot of the time it doesn't even do action well it's just a total bastardization of everything that Resident Evil used to be. Everything that made Resident Evil what it was, what it is. Especially now that, you know, they've done so many remakes. The old school kind of style games outnumber the action games, actually. Although you can still count all the, the two, three, and four remakes as action because they're third person and, and you have more control over the aiming and stuff, but still. There's there's still survival horror games where you have to solve puzzles and stuff versus this. Pure action, linear hallway shit. There are almost no puzzles, and if, even the ones that do exist, It's not like you have to wander around and find puzzle pieces. Like, they're in the same room with you. Oh, and then there's the insistence 
that it's just like Raccoon City in Chapter 1, which clearly shows that the people that designed it have no idea what makes Resident Evil Resident Evil. Um, it's like they... I mean, it's not even like they watched a video of Resident Evil 2 or 3, because... Even doing that, they would have had a better idea of what this franchise is than they did. So, all that said, uh, we're done here for now. I, I am going to do the rest of the game. I haven't decided which place to start yet. I think I'll probably do Chris's campaign uh, before I get to the rest. And then I'll have much more to say. Hey, it's another zombie. Okay, but for serious, this video is over now. Thanks for watching. Bye.